Good morning, everyone. Hope all are good, healthy, and fine. The topic for the day is poem, titled "Beauty," prescribed in CBSC for class six in the book named Honeysuckle. The poet is E. A. Shaw. She was a writer, poet, and educator. She was born on nine September. 1926 in New Mexico she died on 21st July 2014 at the age of 87 she had written her first book named i am a pablo indian girl at the age of 13 she also appeared in the short film named fashion harasse going to the explanation of the poem let us focus on the term beauty what is beauty in simple words we can say that beauty is something or anything which makes us look good which makes us feel good which makes us feel happy from inside and outside but now if i will say the small word with six letters is very simple Do you agree? You will say, "Ma'am, it's just a simple word, which means attractive, beautiful, etc." But let me explain you all. You must have heard about the term "beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder," which means that a thing appear beautiful to you. Maybe it will not appear beautiful to me. The thing you feel is beautiful for you. Maybe it is not beautiful for me. This term beauty is classified into two types: inner beauty and outer beauty. Outer beauty means that with the person's physique and outer looks. Inner beauty is something that lies in a person that cannot be seen or sensed. It lies in one's personalities, actions, and deeds and nature. It is the reality and natural Apart from this the poet talks about in the poem about the natural beauty means nature's beauty and environment in this poem the poet talks about two beauty first the beauty of the nature second the inner beauty of the human being now let me read and explain you the poem beauty is seen in the sunlight the trees the birds corn growing and people walking or dancing for their harvest the meaning of the harvest is the time of the year when the crop is ready corn everybody knows corn is a cereal crop now in the first stanza the poet says that she can see the beauty in the sun rays when the sun rises or sets in the trees as well as in the movement of the birds she also sees beauty in the form of happiness in the face of farmers when they work hard day and night and also in the joyful dancing of them for their harvest the harvest is good so they are feeling very happy beauty is heard in the night when sighing rain falling or a singer chanting anything in earnest sighing means sound of a deep loud breath means breathing noisily chanting means singing or repeating a phrase continuously earnest means sincere or serious in the second stanza the poet says that the beauty can also be heard at night when it becomes dark whistling sound made by passing wind and in the sound of falling rain on the earth and she also feels that beauty is present in the melodious song sung by a singer in the depth of his heart and also one can hear even the beauty of a person in the sincere and serious effort of a person beauty is in yourself good deeds 
happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams in your work and even in your rest deeds means your action in the first two stanza we can see the poet talks about nature's beauty but in the third stanza she talks about the inner beauty she says that true beauty lies apart from nature inner beauty the beauty of oneself this beauty comes from one noble deeds that we perform the good and the noble ideas that we follow in our life and we perform the noble deeds that are in a beauty helps us to lead a peaceful rest or sleep it is only if our ideas thoughts deeds actions are good and noble then only we can have a soundful good and peaceful sleep now to sum up all the poem the poet tries to say in this poem that the beauty is present everywhere in all the small things and in the whole environment and the poet also wants to say that everything is beautiful in its own way it is about the beauty of nature as well as the beauty in ourselves which one can attain by performing noble action deeds now this is today's assignment first you will write the date you will draw the picture you will write the name of the poem beauty and the name of the poet isha the first question answer the following in short now question number 1 what do we see in sunlight we see beauty in sunlight means when the sun rises and the sun sets how beautiful it looks question number 2 how does the poet define beauty beauty lies in the objects of nature all good things good actions and all that pleases are beautiful means poet has classified the beauty first beauty he is telling about the nature and second beauty he is telling about the person's inner beauty question number 3 why do people dance for their harvest harvest meaning i have told you before that it means the time when the crop is ready answer the dance because they are pleased please means they are glad they are very happy to harvest their crops question number 4 beauty is in yourself how is it meaning of this line we can feel beauty in ourselves our noble deeds makes us beautiful noble deed means our good actions makes us beautiful from inside and outside our good work our good thoughts our good deeds they make us to look beautiful from inside and outside question number 5 where does beauty lies beauty lies in happy thoughts good deeds it means when our thoughts are happy and when our action is good we will be having a peaceful life and a soundful sleep i have given you one long question also this is a long question the poet says beauty is heard in can you hear beauty add a sound that you think is beautiful to the sound the poet thinks are beautiful the poet shelly said heard melodies are beautiful but those unheard are sweeter what do you think this means have you ever heard a song in your head long after the song was sung or played the answer is the chirping of birds is also beautiful 
the poet says that when we hear melodies we find it sweet but after hearing those melodies when we imagine about melodies that is unheard melodies we found it sweeter than the original melody itself yes sometimes i heard long after the song was sung or played this means the poet likes the singing of birds and he is saying that it is sweeter than the original melodies and sometimes he hears that song so my dear children i hope you all have understood the poem if you have any queries regarding this poem you can text your queries thank you have a nice day